In this video today, I'm gonna to go through all the settings I have in my Serato DJ Pro. If we go into settings right now, um, I'm gonna go through each of the tabs at the top. So I'm running Serato DJ Pro 3.11. I think 3.12 or 3.13 is out at the moment, but I haven't tested that, so I'm not there just yet. So I'm gonna go through each of my settings. So if you wanna copy these or use these settings in your Serato, you can. So under DJ preferences, I've got sort cues and loops chronologically. So I only found out about this, I think about a year ago. So basically when you click a cue point, it will put it in chronological order. It's quite straightforward. I didn't have this before and I had all my cue points all in different orders, but now I have it in chronological order. I have the cue points set in the time that where they are in the, in the track. So it's just a really good setting for me to have. It's also got the loops set up the same way as well. Enable hot cues. So I feel like every single DJ needs to have hot cues. I don't know any DJ that has this switched off. Show beat jump controls. Now, beat jump is one of the most used features that I use in my DJ sets. And I really feel like it's an underrated feature in Serato DJ Pro as well. So if you haven't got beat jump enabled in your Serato DJ Pro, I suggest that you enable it. Basically, if you um, go to Serato and you put a track up, so say for example, I put this uh, little baby track on here. Um, beat jump allows you to jump beats as much as you want. So you see here, it's set to 16 beats. So I can just push this and it will jump 16 beats in the track. Um, if I want to set it to 32, it jumps 32 beats in the track. It's a really good feature of Serato DJ Pro. If you want me to do a video on beat jump, type beat jump in the comments down below. So we have quantized value at one eighth of a beat. So when I click uh, quantize up here, um, when I click my cue points, it will do it to one eighth of a beat. You can change it to anything that you want, but I just have it as one eighth of a beat. So I've got use all again and 92 dB. So I just have, so this is just the default setting. The 92 dB is the default setting that they're giving you in Serato. And then auto gain is just to make sure that all the volumes of the tracks are the same kind of level when, they, when you analyze them. So when you analyze your music in Serato DJ Pro, it will sort of balance out the volumes. I don't know if you've used CDJs, but on CDJs, if you've got one track quieter than the other, you have to adjust the trims on your DJ mixer. But with Serato Auto Gain, you don't have to do too much changing with the trims and stuff like that. It kind of just kind of it kind of balances out all the audio for you. And under on song load, I don't play the song from the start. I play the song from the first cue point. It just tends to work for me. I really set this when I started doing routines. So whenever I load a track, it will just jump to the first cue point and it will make things a lot quicker for me in my routines. Instant doubles. Now, if you know me as a DJ, I live and breathe by instant doubles. It's a really bad habit of mine. So basically what I'll do is I'll have a song playing on the left hand side. I'll scratch in or I'll mix in the track on the right hand side. Then once I've dropped the track and it's playing to the crowd, I'll instant double it and flip it back to the left deck and then get my song ready again on the right deck. It's a really bad habit of mine. I do need to get out of it, but it just allows me to be a lot quicker in Serato. If you want me to do a video on instant doubles, type instant doubles in the comments down below. Analyze stems. So basically whenever I load a track, it will analyze the stems there and then. So basically on the fly, I can do, I could take out the acapella, I could take out the drums, I could take out the instrumental. Only set this setting if your computer is powerful enough. Now, I'll show you the specs of this laptop here. So, so I have a MacBook Pro 13-inch 2018 4 Thunderbolt 3 ports. Um, I have a 2.3 gigahertz quad-core Intel Core i5 processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and, and my storage is 256 gigabytes. Now, I don't have an M1, M2, or an M3 Mac, and my stems work flawlessly. Um, obviously, if you had an M1, M2, M3, the stems would work even more flawlessly, but you don't necessarily have to break the bank and get a brand new Mac for stems to work. My stems work perfectly on this laptop, and you can probably pick this laptop up for under 500 pounds now. All the MacBook M1, M2s and M3s are all over £1,000. So they're not really good for beginner DJs. So if you want to pick this kind of laptop up, um, check on eBay for these specs and I guarantee you'll find a decent bargain and you'll be able to use stems on a cheaper laptop. I have virtual deck speed at 33 RPM. That's just the default setting. Recording, I just have 16 bit, bit depth and then the file format when it records is just eighth. Um, these are all the default settings. I have simple sync turn on. 
Um, I don't really know the difference between simple sync and smart sync, but simple sync, say for example, I just want to sync two BPMs together. So say for example, a track is at 104 BPM and the other track is at 108 BPM and I want both tracks to be at 108 BPM, I'll just click sync on the left hand side and they'll both be at 108 BPM. Now, a lot of DJs have their own opinions on sync. I use sync to speed up my workflow. Now, if you want to use sync, you do what you want to do. But if you're going to use sync, just know that you need to know how to beat match just in case. Say, for example, your laptop breaks or sync decides to disappear next week. You need to know how to beat match manually. But that's another conversation for another day. But yeah, I have simple sync turned on. I have snap to beat grid switched on and I have sync uh, maintain sync on track load. So these are just all default settings in my Serato DJ Pro. Under audio, I have my USB buffer size as five milliseconds. Now, USB buffer size just means Say, for example, you press a cue point on your DJ controller, it just takes five milliseconds for the controller to register to the DJ software. Now, this is the default setting on my laptop. You can have it as two, you can have it as one. I don't really necessarily see the difference if I change it to two, but apparently if you put it to one, it puts a lot of stress and stress on your laptop. I was told that from someone inside Serato as well. So I've kept it as five milliseconds. I'm happy with it. I can DJ exactly how I need to DJ with five milliseconds. So that is um, what I've got set. I haven't got make audio available to other applications. Um, under CDJ vinyl, I have anti-drift turned on. I have some Bane 12 Mark 1s upstairs and they did have this problem where the track would drift. And because of that, they put this anti-drift setting inside Serato. So I've just got that switched on. Needle drop-in is off. I think that's the default setting as well. Under library, so I haven't got iTunes enabled. I have I came out of iTunes a long time ago. If you want to see a video on how I move myself out of iTunes, check the link in the description down below. Don't have protect library turned on. Don't have custom crates turned on. Um, I have include sub crate tracks. So say for example, I go into my crates here and I go into, I don't know, opening. If I don't have include sub crate tracks, it won't show me the tracks inside opening 80s and it won't show me the tracks inside opening Afrobeat. So let me show you. So if I turn off include sub crate tracks and then I go into all opening, I only have a few tracks in here. So I think I've got less than 100 in here. But then if I switch it back on and go to this crate again, I have thousands of tracks. So what it's doing is including all the tracks inside all the sub crates underneath that crate. This is just a really good setting to have in Serato DJ Pro so you have all your music underneath your crates. So play track color I have as blue so whenever I play a track in Serato DJ Pro it will turn blue. Every time I close Serato DJ Pro it resets all the played tracks. A lot of DJs, I have no idea how they do this, a lot of DJs when they close their Serato they don't have this check so when they open up their Serato all their tracks are blue. Now with my brain, I can't process that. I need to have all my tracks reset so I know what tracks I haven't played at the start of a set. If I don't have this switched on and I go to a set, I won't know what I've played and what I haven't played. I have the worst memory ever. So that's, this is why I have it switched on. And then I also have enable play count switched on. I did have this switched off a few Serato DJ versions back because it was slowing down when I was loading tracks on Serato, but now they've introduced Serato stems, it takes that extra one second to load a track. So I've now switched this back on because it doesn't make a difference with the time difference. So if I go into here, you can see all my tracks in here have plays. So it shows me how many times I play this track when I've been DJing out. Um, so this one's got 16, this one's got eight, etc. This is just a good way to sort out your music as well. Cause say for example, you haven't played a track all year, you might want to delete it. My library tech size, I have it as the smallest. When I'm DJing, obviously when you're a little bit tired, I tend to do turn it up a little bit. So I can turn it up to four here and then everything's a lot bigger. But I tend to have it down quite small when I'm at home because this is when I do all my organizing. When I'm organizing my music library, I like to have everything in front of me so I can see everything. I have EQ color waveforms turned on. So basically when you take out the lows, mids and highs, it changes the color of the waveform in Serato. Color key display, I don't actually know what this is. Let me see. So if I go to help, show tool tips. With this option enabled, keys will be colored according to their position on the circle of fifths. Oh, okay, so let me turn it off. So all it means is if I have key switched on, so if I go to key here, the color of the key would just be the color of 
it on the chart. So obviously this one's yellow, this one's pink, etc. Performance pad queue layout. So if I have a look at my performance pads here, they're, they're laid out as if they were on a DJ controller. So it's just a good way to visually see it. Show key is Camelot. So Camelot is obviously the 4A, the 11B, the 5A, etc. So I've got deck BPM display at one decimal place. So you can change it to two. So if I change that to two, and I put this in Serato Play, you can see that it's 56.24. Now, I'm a very precise person, um, so I would this would annoy me because I'd have to have the other deck at the same. So I would be fiddling with this so much that it has to be matching, and it would stress me out if I couldn't get it exact. So what I've done is I've just put it at one decimal pace. So now it's a lot easier to match because I don't have to do the 0.24 or the 0.26. I just have to do, do the 0.2. Maximum screen updates per second. So I've got it at 60, which is the highest and the default. This is just, if you have this down to five, you know what? Set this to five and run your Serato. Your Serato looks awful. <laughs> Everything's all jittery and slow, but if you have it at 60, it all looks all nice and smooth. High res screen display. If you have this switched off, your Serato looks all old and rigidy. When you have this switched on, Serato looks all nice and smooth. I'm really particular how my Serato looks and I like to have it all nice and smooth and looking good. This does use up a little bit more CPU power, but I think it's worth it. I don't send usage to Serato. I don't want anything going from my laptop to the internet whilst I'm DJing and also I've got show streaming services turned off because one time I was DJing and I was streaming and my laptop crashed in the middle of a set it was 1am in front of a whole load of people and my laptop crashed so ever since that day I've had streaming services turned off on the mixer I've got EQ boost at 6db this is just the default setting the up fade I have the curve at just just past halfway and then I've got the crossfader curve as fast. I do a lot of scratching, so I have this setting set as this. Effects, I don't really use the Serato effects. I use a DDJ S9, so I use the hardware effects on there. I don't really like the inbuilt effects in Serato DJ Pro, so I tend to stay away from them unless I really have to with the controllers I have. I have got a Rev 1, I have got a Rev 5, and they have to use the Serato inbuilt effects. But if I don't have to use the Serato inbuilt effects, I'll always use the hardware effects on the hardware. And then the expansion packs that I have, I have Serato video, but I don't have it switched on. I have Sampler, uh, Serato playlist I don't really use, Serato remotes I don't use, vinyl and CDJ control, so I can now plug in my CDJs and my vinyls into here. Pitch and time, pitch and time DJ I have switched on, Serato flip I have switched on, and Serato play I have switched on. That is all my settings in Serato DJ Pro. Um, obviously, if you want to follow up. If you want to have the exact same settings, you can copy the exact same settings I have here. Now that you've watched this video, check this video out here.